So there's an attitude for a dream. For example, I don't know, when a woman is ovulating, she has an attitude. She has a way of inviting them, even those who don't know how to talk. My member called me one day by 10 p.m. And she said, Mommy, okay, honey, now. have you seen it now? Now that I'm ovulating, I'm in the room and he's in the parlor reading newspaper and watching NTA news. <laughs> and I said, you, don't you read newspaper and watch NTA news? <laughs> so go to the parlor and read it together with him. <laughs> it's even a better way of reading it. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you won't put me into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a child then see when I pray for those who are looking for the fruit of the womb I want you to tell me how many times you stay together four times a week you're in love powerful love three times a week you're in love two times a week you're busy Somebody is going to walk. Once a week, what is happening? Are you people quarreling? Is there any problem anywhere? Once in two weeks, you are separated. Once in a month, you are sexually divorced. I'm telling you. Now you meet once a week and then you use the rest of the six weeks. No, it won't work. Mm -mm. It doesn't work that way. No. Jesus has come. No more Jesus. We have to do what we should do. So the Bible says Ecclesiastes, so in the morning, so in the afternoon. You don't know which one. You don't know which one God will use. We shout a louder amen. amen. So be focused. He has an attitude. Let's get this thing done. Let's get it sorted out. Somebody has to get pregnant. And somebody has to carry a baby. So oh God, make your time available. Every time you're praying, do you want to see Jesus Christ? You want to go to heaven? You lock the door, you're praying, you're speaking in tongues. Let me tell you, a pastor's wife, you know, my hair, called me one day, said, Pastor Choma, you're dedicating my son. I said, why? Your husband is a pastor. She said, you don't understand. For more than one month, we haven't stayed together. So that night, we were talking about lovemaking on the radio. And I heard my husband's horn. Hey, I took the radio and put very close to his food. Then I ran. And I was saying, God, make this woman to keep talking. Let her keep talking. I brought her. I ushered her. I, I ushered him to the dining. My husband came to the dining. And then you now were direct. You, pastor, what is wrong with you? Pastor Choma, my husband looked up. It was a radio program now, so it wasn't me. <laughs> so I didn't tell you. That night, we slept together. And that is how this boy came. So that's why I said that nobody... We dedicate the boy except you. Love making is a fellowship. And in a fellowship, there's an opening prayer. <laughs> After opening prayer, praise and worship. Somebody can even solo it. After praise and worship, offering. There should be an offering before the main message. And after the main message, don't be in a hurry to go. Share the grace. Hey! Share grace. A woman came to me and she said, My husband does not take me out. Whenever I ask him, he said, no money. I said, don't worry, I'll tell you how to get money. Get an envelope. We call it love money. Whenever you, and that way, you let me know how many times you make love. Because you put the bag envelope by the side of your pillow. At every point of love making, give an offering. <laughs> At the end of one month, even if it's 1,000, sir, take it, even if it's ice cream. Once in a while, make the woman feel like a baby. Once in a while. 
buy ice cream, feed her, but don't use the spoon to knock it on her teeth. Say, all the time you're looking for ice cream. <laughs> Hallelujah. 